T-E-R-E-M. Terem. Hi folks, Scott from Terem here. Today we're going to deep dive into customer research. Specifically, I'm going to show you how to design and run our early jobs to be done surveys. Now, you can see on the board the different steps of running early jobs to be done surveys for your research, but I want to explain why they're so important first. So why are early jobs to be done surveys so important? The reason why they're important is because they give you a larger set of quantitative data on the behavior of your customers or potential customers. So when you're planning that new product or you're planning that new release, you can build your confidence around whether you're going to succeed or not. Now, I'm not going to get into the details of what jobs to be done are. It's kind of assumed prior, prior knowledge, but check out the links below if you want to read more about that. All right, so let's talk about how to design and run an early jobs to be done survey. Now, the steps behind me, prepare, plan, design, test, run, and analyze. Let's go through each one. So when you're preparing for your, your survey to be run, there's a few things you want to have in place. You, you want to have a hypothesis or know who your customer is going to be. If you've got an existing product, great. Um, you may want to segment that more and get specific on who the new feature or new features are for. You need that to walk into this. You want to have a hypothesis around what your jobs to be done are. And ideally, you've done some early customer interviews to really understand and surface how your customers talk about it and what those jobs to be done or job to be done might be. Now let's talk about planning. When you're planning for your survey, there's three things you want to be doing. You want to be figuring out who you're going to ask, um, how you're going to ask them, so the ways that you're going to reach them, and what you plan to ask. And when I say what you plan to ask, it's not so much around the explicit questions themselves, but more around the kind of insights and learnings that you want to get out of it. Now let's talk about survey design. Survey design is one of the most challenging steps. I know this because my mum was a statistician and spent most of her time designing the questions on a survey to make sure she got the results back that she wanted. Now, survey design is so complex I'm not going to cover it here today, except to say if you jump into the links, you'll find a, a, a few links off to Harvard, Australian Bureau of Statistics on how to design surveys. Now, the other thing that we've got in the links are some examples. I'm just going to give you a bit of a sense and a bit of a flavor of some examples of the questions you might want to design and what to look out for. So one of the, one of the things with jobs to be done is that we're always looking at behavior. And a good way to ask about behavior is to look at what people have done. So, you know, how many times have you done X activity in the last month? Or how many times do you plan to do X activity upcoming? Now you've got to realize that that second question that question is asking for someone's opinion because it's not something that's happened, whereas the other one is looking historically and is potentially more objective. But these kinds of questions give you an idea around behavior. And you can also ask questions around how people feel about the activity, that they, the, the behavior that they're doing. But ultimately, um, again, survey design is super complex. Check out the links and you'll get some good guidance there. We've also got some examples in the links to, to help you get started, specifically with our surveying questions around jobs to be done. Now, once you've got your survey designed, the next step is to think about testing the survey. Testing the survey is about taking that survey to a small group of people, maybe your customers, maybe not your customers, maybe some of your colleagues, sending it to them just like your, your end test run is gonna, your, your end run is gonna be with, but sending it to them getting them to try and fill out the survey. And what you'll often uncover here is language that you might have used that people may not understand. Um, it may be the design of the survey puts people off. It's a good idea, you know, test it with a small sample, get some feedback before you do your broad run. Because often with a survey, you kind of, you know, you may only be getting one shot and you want to make sure that you're asking the right way and not missing anything uh, immediately obvious that's not great. And the other one is, you know, there's always spelling mistakes links that we forget to check, you can get your colleagues, friends to check those out. Once you've tested the survey, the next step is you're going to run it. So this is where you're going to send it out to um, the participants you plan it to send it to. There's different tools available, different uh, mechanisms available to reach people with a survey. Um, we're not going to get into that on here, but that's where you want to be running your survey, sending it out, getting, getting the results back in. 
All of this gets to really where you want to be, which is the last step here, analyzing your survey. Getting into the results, understanding what's going on. To sum it up, we've got prepare, plan, design, test, run, and analyze. These are the steps of running an early jobs to be done research survey. Really, these surveys are an awesome thing to come after your interviews and to give you a bit more uh, quantitative, somewhat objective data, ideally with more people to make sure those interviews you were doing weren't one-offs or weren't just uh, you know, one or two people's opinion. Really put some numbers behind your, your early interviews. Thanks for having me. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. There'll be more videos like this coming out. Um, and if you've got any topics you want us to cover, if you've got thoughts on, the, on what I've presented today, please write a comment, ask questions. Looking forward to having a chat with you and looking forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.